What is up my fluffy buns? Today I'm going to be talking about what I think about collabs. <music> collabing with low light lola even like thinking and like, brainstorming what our youtube collab should be to be real though i kind of feel bad for low life lola and ashley nicole rojo sometimes they don't know like what to make of their video you know sometimes you might sick of that content like vlogs or something totally understandable to be honest usually i usually post my videos every tuesday and thursday but now i post my videos every day but when i think about it i feel like i don't have like enough video ideas it feels like even though I'm posting my videos every day, post frequently, I feel like I have video ideas, but when I think about it, I assume I don't, but you know. But most of my videos, they're just like talking to a camera, basically. Me and Lola, we, we tried to do the Kiki challenge, but I was like so uncomfortable with dancing. There's like some of the things that she may not like about some of the YouTube clubs that I made ideas and suggestions to her. But what I think of challenges, I know I said it was like a good content and collabs and everything, all of that. I would say it's kind of sort of not a good content because like it gets like annoying. You know, like most popular challenges, they just, I don't know, it's just weird and like it's not very good content to me. What I think of good content is you like saying something that people will actually listen to you, is my opinion. You talking to the camera and people actually listen to you like you have something to say. But then we tried the Try Not To Laugh challenge with partner with Lola, it went totally wrong and even a spit up too. And we also tried What's In The Box. And the next collab that me and Lola were doing for her video is the Read Your Food combination. Last night I texted her in Snapchat saying like, I'll do your collab video for your channel, just don't do the collab video for my channel. I'm uncomfortable with people. I just felt weird and awkward in like awkward space. I don't feel awkward right now just because I'm like by myself. But the thing is like I even text Ashley the same thing too. I just felt uncomfortable. There's a reason why I don't do like collabs because like I'm just uncomfortable with people. I don't work with groups like I usually work by myself. I'm only doing collab just for them like you know they wanted that promotion and I'll try to help them for their video for their channel. Like me, I am guess I'm totally good. It's just that I'm just uncomfortable with working with people. For my awkward dancing, I felt so ashamed that people were actually looking at me. It kind of reminds me of my ex-crush, Mr. Butt who he's like judging me, saying like, I'm awkward, I'm never gonna like get out of my box. This is my way of feeling. Whatever something reminds me of, it's just like people are looking at me saying like, it's all my fault. I felt so ashamed. Like, I really have shame. Why am I making this video just because, like, all the size of me? Like, when I'm by myself, I don't feel awkward, but when I'm with people, I feel so awkward. When Lola, like, talks to me, or basically anyone, like, my heart starts to beat a little bit faster, and I shake a little because I'm kind of nervous because I'm not used to be around people. But yeah, it might be sad because I had to take down that rejecting a collab for my video. I don't know. I just felt so uncomfortable working with people. It's okay, I'm just fine with it. Like, I know it's kind of sad, but I don't know. Shout out to Bonus Berry Good Trash. Also, shout out to Lola Lola, Ashley Nicole Rojo for, well, just mentioning them in the video. That's all I got for you today. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.